Hi, so this is a tutorial for blinking because I've had a few people ask me how I do it and the answer to that is I use a walkthrough that is available on the Wallpaper Engine wiki. So this video, all I'm doing is demonstrating this walkthrough in like a live process. So if you want it, I'll have a link to it uh, in the video description. It is quite well made. There are other tutorials on the Wallpaper Engine wiki. I suggest you take a look at them. Uh, so I have three pictures here. Oh, uh, this one is Goku. If I zoom in on it, his uh, zoom in on it. His eye connects directly to his eyebrow. If you were to follow this method with this picture, it would not work very well because his eyebrow is what would be moving. It won't look like he's blinking. Well, it will, but your results will vary. It, it won't look good. The second image is this image of D.Va. Her hair is obstructing her eyelid. So this side would be fine. This side would not work very well. It will still work, but your results will vary. It will be her hair that's moving down. This version of D.Va, her eyelids are clearly visible. There is no obstruction in her face, and nothing is in front of her eyes. This is what you're looking for if you want to get the best results for blinking. And it's the image I'm going to be using. So this is Diva, loaded into Wallpaper Engine. I can get rid of this. Uh, there's nothing going on, there's nothing else loaded. So all we need to do is add a shake. And the first thing we're going to do is use the opacity mask to shut off everything. So I have the mask showing. I'm going to select black press the clear button, that paint dumps black in the entire canvas, so everything is shut off now. Switch your value back to maximum, and we want to paint white on her eyelids. So we're going to use full opacity, full hardness. We'll come back and fix that after, and paint white over her entire eyelid. this opacity mask makes it so that only the things affected by white are going to move. Everything else will be stationary. And same on the other eyelid. Uh, that should be good enough for now. Okay. So now we're going to change the direction to left and change the bounds to negative 1 and 0. The bounds makes it so that when I apply a shake, it will always be at its maximum movement. And the direction changes um, whether the shake is going around the center or favoring the bottom or favoring the top. So now we're going to apply a shake that covers the entire eye in one uniform motion going in the direction of your blink. So I'm going to go down. And it doesn't really matter. And over here, down. Now we're going to change the strength of the blink, uh, the strength of the shake, so that this part of the eyelid touches the bottom. This will change depending on how big your image is and how big your character's eyes are. A little further. Uh, we'll go to 1.9. Okay, so now this looks ridiculous. So take your shake mask, and we want to go to black to remove. Black is essentially the eraser. Shrink the brush a little bit, and then go down to a soft opacity and a soft hardness. So what we're going to do is remove parts of the shake that are too far, and this will push the eye back up and make it so it sits in a more natural position. So instead of getting this hard arch, we're going to get a flat eye. The second thing you want to do is remove shake from the top. So if you look at this closer, this is her actual eyebrow on the image. This is her bottom eyelid. This is actually her eyebrow a second time 
being pushed down by the shake. It's just detached. So what we want to do is remove this shake, this red, and blend this area together so that it stretches the eyelid up. So we start at the top and start removing. And as soon as we start getting to where the eyelid is, it's going to start dragging this part up. See? So now we want to blend all of the parts together so that it looks like one uniform piece. So it's not her eye it's not her eyebrow moving down, it's her eyelid stretching. There's a little bit of an artifact there, but that's fine. You probably won't notice it. And do the same thing on this side. So we're going to fix her eye shape at the bottom. And it looks a little weird. Her eye's not fully closed, but when the blink moves fast enough, you probably won't see that. And again, blend out her eyelid. There. Now we can take off all the parts that don't matter. You want as preferably as little movement as possible. This is what you're left with. So press OK. And now we can make the bounds. These are the values recommended in the walkthrough. I'm not 100% sure on what they do, but it makes it so that the animation only takes place in a fraction of the full movement. So 0.994 and 0.997. So now she should blink. What you can also do is increase the friction. So her eyes are moving up and down. So the Y friction, if you increase it, it will mean they're open for longer than they are closed. So now the, it basically makes a gap or a delay. So she'll blink, there's a delay, and then she blinks again. And we can increase this just a little bit, just so she gets a bit more closure on her eyes, and increase the speed by just a touch. And now we have a blinking diva. So there are two other ways you can do it that I'm not going to demonstrate, and that is you could actually go into Photoshop and draw individual frames of her blinking and then import those as a GIF and have actual blinking eyes. That would be the best result, but you have to be able to actually draw, and I can't do that. So this distortion blinking is probably the best bang for your buck. And I try and incorporate it in most of my animations. Another thing you can do is you can actually layer multiple shakes. So what I used to do is add kind of a squinty eye animation, I used to call it. Because I couldn't get blinking to work very well when I started, I would just kind of make subtle facial movements like this, just so she's not completely stationary. And if you go back and look through any of my wallpapers, you'll probably see this, or something similar to it. Now the cool thing about this is you can actually layer this with the blinking. So she'll have the squinty eye animation, or the facial movement animation, and she will blink. So it's just uh, kind of how... This is how I set up facial animations. I'll also do something with the mouth, and maybe something with the actual face itself. But this is how you would add blinking. Anyways, check out the Wallpaper Engine tutorial, uh, Wallpaper Engine Wiki for tutorials. There are others. The Shimmer Mask is really cool if you can get it to work. Um, thanks.